what's good with y'all man so we got some say some pretty interesting news that come out today you know it's crazy all this is happening during uh Terrence Crawford and Sean Porter's fight week but this is kind of taking over a little bit so the biggest star in boxing uh the current pound for pound number one fighter in the world number one boxer in the world uh Canelo Alvarez is apparently supposed to be moving up to cruiserweight to fight uh i think you say i don't even know how you say this guy's name uh his first name at least but uh ilanga makabu so uh and that's the that's the wbc champ at cruiserweight makabu i really don't know if i'm buying it right now though that's 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 the god's honest truth i don't know if i'm really i'm really sold on this actually happening um i saw this early i woke up pretty late i'm like okay see something from michael benson Canelo Alvarez versus Macabu, uh, WBC champion, all this bullshit. I'm like, nah, this shit ain't real, man. I'm like, let me actually click on this tweet. And this shit was real, man. I thought I was getting, like, one of those fake Michael Benson Twitter accounts. Um, but it, se it seems to be real, man. They or they were, uh, Canelo and his team, Eddie Reynoso, were at the WBC convention. And they actually put in a request to make this happen. And the WBC approved. Now, just because they approve proves of uh of this fight happening doesn't mean it will actually happen, right? They still have to negotiate things. Still, just I'm pretty sure there's been no term set out, no term she sent to one another. Um, this is too early. This is too early in the stages uh for this to even be in that in that part, right? Um, this the convention just happened today, so I'm pretty sure they weren't in the negotiation stage while Canelo was preparing for a fight, cause he's only about two weeks, two weeks uh out from his last fight or a week and some change, week and a half, whatever you want to say. So we'll see how it goes from here, but I'm just not buying it. I think this could be, I think honestly, I think this could be one of those tactics, um, uh, pretty good chess move by Canelo to get these guys to fight each other, right? So a lot of us have been clamoring for Canelo to uh not Canelo for Charlo, uh Benavidez, Caleb Plant, all these guys to fight each other first before before Canelo gets in the ring with them, right? Build up your value. Don't just uh just look, don't just go chasing Canelo looking for the payday. Actually build yourself up and make the fight bigger than what it what it be what it will be right now. So if you put it like this, right? Charlo and Benavidez, the way the way uh PBC Showtime they've been doing pay per views, I, I wouldn't be surprised if this was uh Charlo and Benavidez was a pay per view fight. There's been some back and forth between between those two for maybe like the past half year or so. Um, but uh, it seems like Charlo doesn't really want this fight. Benavidez has called for it multiple times, even in his last fight versus Kyron Davis, he's called for the fight. So these those two really need to get in the ring together um build themselves up but i like david benavidez energy energy and that's kind of why i want him to get the canelo fight because he doesn't seem to be ducking any smoke i think he he'd take on uh jamal charlo i think he would take on uh a billy joe saunders i'm just saying like guys that i, I don't think he would have ducked anybody at 168 i think he would take on the canelo i was about to say canelo plant a uh, kayla plant so um, I kind of felt like he deserved it. He really only lost his titles on, well, he lost his titles twice, none without being beaten in the ring. He lost his titles on the scale once, uh, in the COVID, in the COVID era, I guess you could say, where, you know, there was no place to go to a sauna. They, these guys are still in, like, hotels and shit that didn't have those, uh, that didn't have those things that could help you burn, let's say, an extra pound or so right before you got the two hour limit to come back and be in shape to be uh on weight so and then he also lost a younger when uh he had cocaine in the system so man um i say all that to say this man canelo's i think he's trying to pit these guys against against each other to you know don't just keep waiting on me go put some pain and go make your own legacy and then and then we could bring it all together and make some make some big some good money uh, we we see guys like Triple G. It's like he's wait he's waiting on another Canelo payday. That trilogy. He's not trying to unify at all. He got somebody on his side of the street and Demetrius Andre, um, who he could have been for. They both they both fight on the zone. There's no reason that fight shouldn't have shouldn't have happened. So, um, the way he's looking, 
But uh, I do want to say, honestly, too, the way it's looking, it's like, if this was, if the fight between Canelo and uh, Makabu was to actually happen, it, it, it does line up for Canelo, right? It still would it still would be a very tough fight. Um just because it's like he's basically tacking on 20, 20, 20 to thirty pounds, right? Um and I'm pretty sure because WBC said the cruiserweights can't come in over one ninety anymore. So you have to be at one ninety when you weigh in. But of course, uh Makabu's gonna be in somewhere around two hundred after he after he uh rehydrates most likely. So uh, he'll probably be at 200 while Canelo who's never fought at the weight class before uh, His actual he's probably Canelo to be 190 he's probably 190 when he's not in shape at all so um, Because we thought he's a pretty small 168 pound already so I can only imagine a cruiserweight But uh, uh Makabu has a title so that would be another big legacy fight for Canelo. I'm not sure anybody really wants to see that fight. I don't think any hardcore boxer fans wants to see it. Uh if you do if because we're looking at it like this, right? He chose to go after the worst the worst uh the worst champion or the least recognized champion at uh Cruiserweight, right? Nobody really knows Makabu. I'm gonna be honest, I don't even know him, bro. I never seen him fight one time. Now, of course, I've seen Breeders fight. I've seen Akoli fight. Guys like that, they have bigger names. Um, who else am I thinking of at Cruiserweight? But it's just a lot. It's, it's just bigger names there. Um, Canelo chose the right guy. And, and, and if you look at Makabu, if you go on his box right, do I want to bring it up right here? Let me see. I think I'm going to bring it up. Hold on. Let me go to that. I don't have the thing up yet. Give me 0. 0.2 seconds. You're going to get that up there, right? When we look at it, he's six feet tall. He only has a 74-inch arm reach, right? So he's a pretty, pretty short, pretty short, uh, pretty short cruiserweight. My arms are in a crazy length. Now, let's compare him to, let's see. Uh, oh, yeah. So this was the article that I was reading. Basically, verified that, uh. You know, the the cruiserweights have to come in no higher than one ninety because you know they they started up the bridgeway title, right? So, uh, let me see. I got some for y'all boxing. I like seeing rankings. Now we gonna go straight to cruiserweight. Now let's look at the let's look. So Canelo, he's already a short guy. I think Canelo's five eight, five nine max, if I'm not mistaken. Let's see, Canelo's five eight, seventy inch arm reach. Now let's take a look at Okoli. A Coley six five with an eighty two inch arm reach. You think you think Canelo wants to fight that? Of course not. Let's take a look at uh Breeders. Oh man. <clears throat> and Breeders only loss is to Usyk. So uh, let you know this guy is he's he's a he's a serious uh. He's a real, he's a real champion. He's a guy that's been putting in pain. But uh, let's look at Breeders, six one, seventy five inch arm reach, and he and he's also an excellent boxer. So I mean, he's getting up there in age, but uh, still not an easy walk in the park fight for Canelo. And I think honestly, that's what uh, Canelo doesn't want to do, right? If he's gonna make legacy, he's gonna pick the weakest champion of them all. And uh, I'm not too mad at it, but it's not a fight I really care to watch if. This is definitely a fight I don't think anybody's buying on pay-per-view. So this fight probably will be back with Eddie Hearn or something. If I had to guess, it'll probably be a it'll probably be a the zone fight. And uh I mean of course I'm gonna tune in. It's a Canelo fight at the end of the day. But nobody's really clamoring for this fight. Nobody asked for it. But like I said, I still think this is this could be a little bluff. This could be a little bluff. Yo, showtime. Y'all want me to fight these guys? I right, I need fifty mil. You just gave me forty mil for Caleb Plant. I right, now you, you know everybody wants to see the David Benavides fight more than we want to see the Caleb Plant fight. Now I need 45 50 million. This could just be like I said, it could be chess between Canelo and his team. We'll have to find out in the future. Uh, Canelo said he's looking to come back in May. Let me see, I think I had it here too for Michael Benson. All right, so they're looking for Canelo's next fight to be in May. Yeah, that was that was verified so. Um, we'll see what happens here. 
But interesting stuff right now, man. Um, with that being said, let me know what you guys think about this fight. Do you guys are you guys fond of this fight? Do you guys really want to see this? Are you clamoring to see this, bro? Would you buy uh this if this was a pay per view fight? Is this a fight you would attend? Uh, I don't know. I might have some UK fans or uh. Well, I'm not even going to say fans, some UK supporters or African supporters that are watching this and they'll love this. They will. They, this is a fight they will pay to go see in their hometown or whatnot, depending on where it's at, because this fight, we don't know where this fight will take place at. It's definitely not a good American fight. Um, So we'll see, right? Maybe this could be in Mexico. Canelo's been wanting to uh, fight in Mexico. Let's we'll see what happens. But with that being said, I'm heading about it here. Don't forget to like, subscribe, do all that good stuff. Comment in the comment section below. Hit the bell and notification button so you're notified when I drop a video, man. With that being said, I'm out. Peace.